In case you've been living under a rock, let me introduce you to one of the finest 1911 manufacturers on the planet, Nighthawk Custom. Their motto is simple, one gun, one gunsmith. This is the Firehawk. And at first glance, it may appear to be a standard five inch 1911. And then you get closer and discover the perfectly blended compensator designed to tame God's round, 45 ACP. But before we get into how it shoots, I must ask, if you have the word custom in your name, it begs the question, just how custom is it? Now to look at how custom Nighthawk Custom is, I went to their site and just printed out a list of some of the options you can choose from on the Firehawk. So you can get it in 45, which is of course what I have. You can also get it in nine mil. You can do a flute barrel hood. You can do custom block letter engraving. You can do a company logo engraving. How cool is that? We could actually get a 1911 syndicate logo engraved under this. You can do no roll marks slash naked slide. You can do a blackout finish. You could do smoked nitride, which I highly recommend. Very, very nice finish. Uh, stainless steel upgrade for the complete gun. That's 200 bucks. You could do a stainless steel slide upgrade. You could do stainless steel upgrade on individual parts. That's only 10 bucks per part. Stainless slide and frame with rose gold TICN controls and barrel. An aluminum frame. Double stack upgrade. Now that one's 650 bucks. You could do a recon rail if you wanted this. If this was a personal gun, I would do the recon rail on it. You could do hand stippling on the underside of the trigger guard, which does sound nice, I have to tell you. Um, you could checker the front of the trigger guard. You could checker the underside of the trigger guard. I think that's actually the one that I would do right there. Hand stipple the front of the trigger guard. Checkered front straps at 20 LPI. That is lines per inches, kids. Hand stipple on the front strap of the frame. You could do a hand stipple on the mainspring housing. You could scallop the front strap. You could scallop the mainspring housing. You could do an Everlast guide rod contoured carry cut upgrade. Ambi safety, which I do have here, 120 bucks. You'd have fiber optic front sight upgrade. iOS sight upgrade, now I do have that, we will get into that. Front cocking serrations, checker the rear of the slide. Now, mind you, these are just the upgrades for the Firehawk. It's about 40 different ones. And just to put it in perspective, the GRP Recon, which is a model that I own, a little bit more of a mainstream model from Nighthawk, clocks in at almost 70 different upgrades and options that you can do for it. So the answer is, they're pretty damn custom. Okay, so um, welcome back, kids. Talking about the Firehawk today. Very interesting, a few big features that we're gonna be talking about. Before we get into it, guys, the basics of what you need to know is that our channel, we try to keep as organic as humanly possible. Now that will change over time as we pick up sponsors and, and all that good stuff. But right now, essentially, we're the damn sponsor. <laughs> okay, You're so, a sponsor and I just sweat equity. So. Yeah, you know. <laughs> And actual sweat, um, yeah. although not today, even though it's starting to cool off. Come so here, anyway, um, if you guys need real estate help, let us know. That's what the 1911 Syndicate is. That is the best way to support us, that you keep this whole thing uh, moving forward. That said, you might not need to buy a house, in which case, no problem. Patreon also exists for a reason, so that you can give us, um, you know, three, four, five, six, seven bucks a month. It's like tipping your waiter at yeah. uh, Red Lobster, because why wouldn't you? Because yeah. the biscuits are fucking amazing. I mean, if each person just donates a dollar, we rich. can, yeah, we We're can rich. make content for 
five months. So anyway, there's that. Um, so let us know if you need anything there. Have everything else down in the video description. And then in terms of relationship with Nighthawk, I can just go right there. Um, relationship with Nighthawk. So uh, we have <laughs> communicated quite a bit over the past couple months in terms of the Firehawk. And we do have one other project that we're working Ooh. on with them that I won't really get into right now, but that should be coming fairly soon. Um, but yeah, so anyway, the gun's here on loan. Uh, this gun will go back to them in probably about a week after we're uh, done wrapping up this video. That said, we're gonna get into some of the big features of this. We'll kind of give you some of the nitty gritty stuff, but I wanna really focus on some of the big stuff. And the first thing we're gonna hit is the iOS. Okay, so the iOS stands for Interchangeable Optic System. And straight up, you've had a little time on this. I've had yeah. a lot of time on this. It is by far my favorite version of red dot to iron sight gun I've ever had. 100%. It's it, it, yeah. it, it, fucking Genius system. phenomenal. It, yep. It's absolutely phenomenal. So I'm just gonna demo how this works because it is quite unique. Um, one thing that you will notice, so when a red dot's on, they cut this very low into the slide. Yeah. So one thing that's cool about it is this is a really good place if you're not overly familiar with red dots to start picking it up. Sure. Because yeah. a lot of that whole, like you punch out that pinky pressure and you find the dot because most of the time your dot's high in your window. Yeah. A lot of that is gone with this. And I've had multiple people play with this, run this, and it just is, is very, very intuitive. One other thing they do with this that I think is really, really cool is the rear sight is forward of the dot. As it should be. See. I used to think that that, I used to hate seeing that. Oh, really? And I can't tell you why. I think mainly from an aesthetics perspective, I was like, it looks so stupid to me. But it's more practical and more friendly it, for the end user. I, it turns out I'm a big fan. I'm well, a big, you, big fan. You wanna know the science behind it? Sure, science yeah. guy. The way it's been described to me is when you have your irons on the rear, your eyeballs are so used to focusing on that that they point. go from this to that. Mm. Where when it's in front, your eyes automatically go to dot and then irons. Right. So it shaves down that time of your eyes trying to transition. I, I, I mean, I can't, you know, look, I, I'm not a doctor. I can't verify that. But you're also blind in one eye. So, well, yeah. Um, so, but that does seem to make some sense. It is so easy to pick up the dot. So, super it is, cool. I, I mean, it's a 30 second process to go from iron sight to a red dot gun. And one thing that they do, I think a really, really nice job of is the blending of the that. serrations. The, yeah. I mean, the serrations all perfectly line up, but just the blending of the uh, iron sight plate in general blends in really, really nicely. Like it, this is a slam dunk. Yeah. I, I mean, the yep. iOS system is easily the best version of this that I've seen. Yep. So yeah. uh, now let's move over. Let's talk about the comp. So because there are yeah. two, you know, a couple notable things. Obviously, the iOS system and then the comp. Those are the two main upgrades, as we alluded to at the beginning of the video. There's a lot of different upgrades that you can do on Nighthawks. The two main ones that are done here is the iOS system, the comp, and then for me, an Ambi safety. Um, so the comp single port, and yep. it's on a bull barrel. I will be the first to tell you. Um, I have not even like. I haven't even taken apart this gun to clean it yet. I'm gonna be honest with you. Shocking. Yeah. Um, I have a, a, a philosophy that I'm following on, on videos, which is when something comes it in, comes in, I'm just gonna keep shooting it yeah. until it stops yeah. shooting. And um, that gun keeps going. So I just throw a little oil down the back of the, uh, uh, you know, little rails there and call it a day. So, uh, but comps on a bull barrel, single port. One thing you will notice, um, send that slide forward. Yeah. Is how, beautifully um, machined and like kind of seamlessly this blends into the gun. Cause when you first look at it, you could, unless you're kind of a student of this, you could look at it and just go, oh, it's a five inch 1911. And then you look at, I mean, of course you can see a line, especially when the sun's blaring right, through it. Right to but, your face. But it's very, very nicely machined, blended into the gun, very nicely done. I will say um, I've shot some defensive hollow points for this. We'll try to film a little bit later today showing um, kind of how that works, but it is actually pretty effective. Comps like that on, I mean, on 45, it's it's a smooth shooting gun. Obviously the comp helps, but on hollow points is really where it's gonna start to shine. And um, I think that we'll probably shoot this a little bit low light tonight. So hopefully you can start to see that comp really come alive and shoot some of those gases and everything. Yeah. Um, in terms of just some other uh, general notes here, very tight gun. I mean, you'll notice if you're just playing with that. Barely like, anything. Put, like, like, it's a very, very tight gun. Of course, it's Nighthawk, so it's all hand fit. It's one gun, one gunsmith. That is Nighthawk's um, philosophy. That, Hook line. For those of you that yeah. don't know. And what's pretty cool is in the paperwork that comes with the gun, 
Also comes the name of the gunsmith that built it. So if Justin happens to see this, thank you for building this Firehawk. It's been a pleasure to shoot it. I think um, most of their gunsmiths too, they stamp their initials. Under one of the grip panels. Under yep. one of the grip panels. Yeah. So was that, I, did I get ahead of you? I'm sorry. No, it's literally my next point because it's oh, one of cool. those things where it's like, so the, um, the gunsmith will stamp his initials. I yeah. believe it's under the left grip panel. Just a little nugget for any Nighthawk owners that see this. I have not taken those off because I just didn't have any need to. Yeah. Um, but that is that is kind of a cool little nugget. Whether it's right side or left side, it doesn't matter. It's on there somewhere. And I think it's yeah. cool because, you know, say after a couple thousand, 10,000, 20, 40, 60, I don't know how many thousands of rounds, mm -hmm. you got to send it back and maybe get a little tune up. Yeah. They know who did it and yeah. it's on there. And it's, it's just kind of like, cool. Oh, it's almost like an. Uh, EID tag <laughs> in yeah. a weird, it's like yeah. an old school EID tag yeah. where it's like, hey, this comes back in. Well, we might not have a catalog of every part and serial number that went on it, but we know who built the damn thing. So Justin, yeah, tune her up, you know? And um, I know something kind of cool. This is my little knowledge of Nighthawk, mm -hmm. just, you know, throwing this in there. I know Eddie has three or four Nighthawks at this point, mm -hmm. and he likes one guy over there to build his gun. So he's like, can I request such and such? And he has like four guns built by that guy. That's cool. Which is kind of cool. I, so a disclaimer, I don't know if everyone can do that or not. True, <laughs> but, yeah. Eddie uh, does a lot with Nighthawks, so yeah, yeah, that might be something for him. But. Yeah, runs a, a gun shop down in Arizona and um, has kinda a lot cool. of Nighthawks, but yeah. it is cool. So hey, you can ask. I don't know if that's how it works, but it is kind of a cool notion. Yeah, um, it's a beautiful so, gun, man. Yeah, yeah, very nice lines. So obviously this one's chambered in 45. It also comes in nine. It, I'd be actually, frankly, curious to see what that shoots like in nine. It's gotta be soft as absolute shit. I've shot one in nine. Um, so, so you can upgrade yeah. that to a, a double stack, which would be, for me, if I was getting a a comped 1911, because I mean, it wouldn't be a 2011, because technically that's a staccato thing, but um, man, the double stack upgrade on that would be really cool, which I believe is called the TRS Comp. Yep. I think is the uh -huh. model of that. Um, the TRS Comp. Haven't shot it, but um, man, it's definitely, uh, you know, it, it's a little bit on the want list. Uh, let's see, one piece Magwell and Mainspring housing. Yeah. That's all the so shit all that's this going is on just back here. One you know? piece. Yeah, so one piece, not two, not three even, but freaking one, everyone. <laughs> no light rail. You could add a light rail. Now, did, did just to address the question, did I just see snot fly out of your nose? Yeah, you I did. might have. Yeah, I did, because yeah. the way the sun's hitting it, it was just a little. It's all right, your nose is dripping too, so we're both dripping. Okay, so no cool. light rail, um, which is an upgrade you can do. So again, like all this stuff is customizable, right? I would have. You know, I would call that a dust cover, but yes, very true. That, but you know, you cannot attach a light to that. You're going to be running a handheld. Um, so you know, wh whatever. But again, that's an option. Gold bead front sight. Gold bead front sights are really cool. I've actually become quite fond of them. And what's kind of interesting, because I actually just recently found this yeah. out, is it. They're actually gold. It's actual gold. Man. <laughs> like it's actual yeah. gold. I don't know if we can get close up on that or however, but basically. I think they're 14, 14 or 18 karat. Okay. But I mean like, how cool is that? Well, I thought it was kind of gimmicky. I'm like, dude, is that even gonna pop? Dude, with a small amount of light, that yeah. thing lights up. 100%, so, 100%. Yeah. You would be shocked for those of you that, cause it's really kind of a 1911 thing. Like, the, like this is in the club of, you know, things that I play yeah. with, you know, it's yeah. not really a Glock thing. Although there are gold bead Glock front sights. I used to have one, but it's definitely kind of a classy move for 1911s. And like you said, I mean, any ambient light that's out, yeah, that thing will reflect off of it. And you will almost like a fiber. Surprisingly kind of. well. It, surprisingly it, it does surprisingly well. well. Um, so pretty cool. Price, just to go through price of this, um, base price on the gun, 4,200 bucks. The iOS, right, interchangeable optic upgrades 350. The plate for the RMR, they also have a plate for SROs. Um, this has a hollow sun, a uh, 508, I think is that model. It's not the one I normally run, but I think it's 508. Um, yep, 508T. So the uh, plate, 150 bucks, ambi safety is 120. The complete stainless steel upgrades 200 bucks for a grand total of $5,020. It's right around this point in the video where we can count on the Rock Island crowd to come in with their it's not worth the money and just as good comments. But any reasonable person knows that's nonsense. Of course you get what you pay for. Is the Firehawk expensive? Yes. Is it amazing? Yes. It's one gun and it was built by one gunsmith. It's Nighthawk Customs. 